Winchester Defender, 147 grain, bonded, jacketed, hollow point. I paid $20 for a box of 20 of these, which isn't too bad. That's on the cheaper side of defensive ammo. I'm going to be shooting this through a G3C with a 3.2 inch barrel. I'll get you some chronograph numbers here in a second. Take a look there. It is a nickel plated casing. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six petals. Run that through a gel block. See what that actually looks like. I'm going to chronograph them. See what kind of velocities you can expect from a 3.2 inch barrel on the back of the box. <clears throat> Proprietary bonding process. Wells the jacket to lead resulting in improved penetration and retained weight. We'll see about that. Hollow point expands up to 1.5 times the original diameter. We'll also see about that. Notch jacket pre-programmed to expand into six uniform segments for consistent tactical performance mm, using some fancy words ballistic stable unsure oh camera lost the focus so i'll take a picture of that it's claimed at a thousand feet a second from the muzzle for 326 foot pounds of energy Oh, no, autofocus to the rescue. All right. Shot number one, here we go. Of course, chronograph turned off. 914. Cycled, had a bit of a snappy recoil to it. Second. Chronograph again, 9.31, and last shot, again, stupid thing, turned off, for 9.13 again. Crunch those three numbers, see what they got uh, onto the gel. All right, there's our entrance. See those uh, veins? Sorry for the very dirty block here. Never got to melt these back down. Next week, uh, we'll have fresh ones. That's where it entered, right there. And coming over to the side. So, give you overall penetration. Dirty block here, leading edge. Turn off you stinking thing. Leading edge at 11 and a half inches. Throw you a BB calibration here. This is denser than standard 10%. Looks like expansion started at about the half inch mark. 
and you can actually run and see uh, I can see I'm not sure how you'll good you'll be able to see that I'll move the camera around for you from about half an inch in to about five and three quarters you can really see the petals twisting through the gel take how tall that is for you about an inch wide that's how far it ran I've got about six good six inches of an inch wide wound track right there settles down from the six inch onwards part carries into the second block I will work on that At that point it's lost decent amount of steam uh, smaller track I'll take the camera up or flip the block sideways for you and you can hopefully see that better these are dirty blocks so, next time I do this I won't have dirty blocks you can hardly hardly even tell What we're looking at on the bottom, or the first block here, is the bottom track. Can't really even see through the camera. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Right. Take you over that right there at 11 and a half inches. If the focus will do its job, probably not. is our bullet so i'll dig that out and see how much it actually expanded claimed to one and a half times we'll find out Retained weight is 148.5 grams. Washed that out pretty good, so it's uh, coming in a little on the heavier side.